If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die uh, today, if I die yeah. today. Cold flows for a cold mind, see a new world, but I'm so blind. Kick rocks when your time's up, better start digging like a cold mind. Cold heart, seen cold times, it's a bold move, but the sunshine raise up. When you Good morning, Cardano Army. It's your boy Boomin coming at you with yet another video, guys. Go ahead and do all the things that the algorithm likes for me. Got my coffee locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started, guys. So today we're talking about the Cardano native asset market here. Um, taking a look at the trending coins, we got Snack here up about seven percent in the last twenty-four hours. Fluid tokens down slightly. Friend token up. I AIG up a little bit. Hunt down a little bit. And Axo, the new kid on the block, uh, the new popular token on Cardano. Axo token is up about 14 percent and i think that axel token along with snack and others I, I think that the whole cardano market is going to explode guys like that's what i truly do believe uh bitcoin is almost at fifty thousand dollars for the first time since 2021 which is absolutely crazy they said bitcoin was dead they said crypto was dead they said cardano was dead they said Cardano was a ghost chain that nobody was building on it, but yet we have new tokens each and every day. They said Cardano was a ghost chain and nobody using it, but apparently it's too full. It's it's too clogged. How how is that possible? No one uses it, but it's too clogged. No one's building on it, but there are tokens every day. Please make it make sense, guys. Please help me understand. I, you guys know I'm not the smartest cookie in the in the cookie jar. If you guys can help me understand what these people are talking about, that would be awesome. So we see Axo token here, guys. New decks on the block. Pumping uh, about $8 right now. 13% uh, over the last 24 hours. So, yeah, that's pretty cool, guys. Um, but... Let's go ahead and move on to the Cardano news just real quick. Weekly development report really, really fast. Key highlights, Bootstrap peers merge with the Ouroboros Network repository. Lace team commences preparation for their upcoming V1.9 release. Improvement in Plutus error reporting. Hydra monthly report for January 2024 published. Uh, facts, FAQs for and resources being updated on Sancho Net Docs. Fund 11 voting concluded February 8th. Results expected on February 15th. And second iteration of online Cardano developer course to launch next week. 158 projects launched. 1,300 projects building. 9.57 million tokens. 98,000 token policies. 6,000 V1 scripts. 83.7 transactions. 83.7 million transactions. And 21,000 Plutus V2 scripts. Let's go ahead and move on, guys. Now, this is Liquid Lab. Shout out to Liquid. Um, let's see here. So, uh, a sad reality is that Cardano DeFi and payments will now have a low ceiling and be held back for the full growth potential without native USDC. It is the second largest fiat liquidity layer with a $27 billion market cap. Unless the Cardano Foundation or ILG has a plan to build Algo stablecoin with a market cap greater then 27 billion in the next few months there should be a singular concerted focus on getting usdc native is issuance live on cardano and a part of me agrees i mean we already do have algorithmic stable coins on cardano we think we got three right now we got my usd menhan jed a couple more that aren't coming to the brain right now uh but it doesn't really look like those are being adopted at rates that we need them to be adopted at let's take a look at the jed market cap here if we can, if I can find it here, just give me one second. Let's go back to the top 50. I mean, Jed is all the way down here. It's, uh, let's see, come on, where is it? Right here at 36. There's only, you know, 3 million locked. There's it's only a 3 million market cap, guys. You know, and, uh, the adoption just isn't there. I don't understand why. Um, a lot of USDC and Tether and all that stuff, they're backed by uh, venture capitalists. So that could also be one of the reasons why 
we haven't seen so much growth on Jed. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, there's there's hardly any adoption. So we need more adoption, and one way we can get that is by integrating USDC. And I was watching, um, I was watching a video by Thomas Sowell. I don't know if you guys know that he's a uh, prominent economist um, for a very very long time, and he had a quote that resonated with me. And I think that it applies here. There are no solutions, only trade-offs. And that's true. I mean, yes, in order to get USDC on to Cardano, we're going to have to spend a lot of money, eight figures, eight figures just to integrate a stablecoin solution to our blockchain. That's, that's, a, that's a ton of money, guys. You know, what's that, $10 million, $15 million? astronomically crazy that we have to pay circle that much money just to integrate their coin on our blockchain uh but <clears throat> the tr that's one of the trade-offs we got to pay to play and if we want these big people to come on into our ecosystem and really boost it up then we're going to need to have those trade-offs guys and there's no guarantee that once we get USDZ integrated on Cardano, that it'll make much difference. There's no, <clears throat> no guarantee of anything. There's no guarantees in, in anything in life. All right. So uh, Wolf LeBeau here makes a decent point here. Is it really Algorand regrets having paid for USDC integration because it did not bring the expected liquidity into their ecosystem? This may be a blessing in disguise. And then Liquid here posts... Algorand is arguably the worst comparison for USDC as they had little to no DeFi and payments transaction on the chain before USDC. Obviously, that won't change materially after. Cardano is an entirely different league due to the size of the community and quality of dApps live on the mainnet. Ethereum or Solana is much better con for these reasons. Do you see how quickly your argument falls apart when you analyze USDC daily volume and the ubiquitous use in DeFi protocols on the chains with real user adoption? Now, I'm a big Algorand fan, okay? I can't tell you Algorand DeFi protocol. All right, now all the Algo fanboys are gonna start yelling at me and disliking the video, even though I just said I'm an Algorand fan, but I still can't tell you a single Algorand DeFi protocol. I could tell you an Ethereum one, I could tell you a Solana one, I could tell you a Cardano one. Heck, I could probably even tell you a Tron one, <laughs> but I cannot tell you a, <laughs> a Algorand one. And maybe that's, you know, poor research on my part. But the fact remains is that if somebody who's in the in the ecosystem every day. Or almost every day, sorry for the long layoff, but every day I'm looking at crypto prices every day. I'm, I'm tracking something with crypto and I can't tell you one Algorand DeFi protocol. That's a problem. So, you know, like I said, there's no solutions, only trade-offs, and things are not guaranteed. I say we bite the bullet, you know, it, it, what do we have a treasury for? Um, maybe, maybe we could have like a open fund where we put the money in the, uh, we put a money in a smart contract. You can donate your ADA to to maybe raise some funds and go ahead and give it a circle so we can start integrating this stuff because the bull run is coming all right guys if you took a look at my last video we talked about how uh bitcoin is pumping it's almost at four fifty thousand dollars we haven't been to 50 since 2021 people said we were dead dunzo toast kaput but we're almost back to bull run like levels if bitcoin gets to fifty thousand, it only needs to go up 20 more thousand for us to be at all-time highs and people will say that's a lot of money but not for bitcoin so i don't know guys what do you guys think comment down below let me know let's go ahead and move on real quick we got crypto venture capital look at my guy here crazy he's got charles hoskinson on his show um so he's talking about exo here the new kid on the block exo has been built on cardano for a very good reason it was time 
and still by far the best building block for the future of finance. While many pe people are busy figuring out narratives, Cardano and Axel have been busy figuring out and delivering solutions or trade-offs. <laughs> I made this post about Axel Trade being S tier. Here's IOHK highlighting their capabilities to push boundaries and innovate it and innovate in the space. While you have a group of people replicating AMM systems on a UTXO blockchain, let's take a listen. So you have one state transition to another state. Now, just like a cash register, you can't go tear your state apart or these types of things. It's an atomic transaction. You want this with these types of systems because then you have determinism in it. If it settles, it settles. When you have systems where they're, they're kind of open and they don't quite close, then you run into all these front running concerns or other things like that. And also it's unpredictable what the cost of that transaction is. So you get non-determinism in the system with an accounts-based model. So I'd really recommend you talk to the AXO guys, bring them on your show and it was like, have them demonstrate because they took this design to the, the logical extreme. And they said, well, if I have all of this stuff that's deterministic and it's catch register, like I can do a ton of stuff and batch it. So I can do all these things off chain, all these transactions, all these things. And then when they come back on, I get a mathematical guarantee that it's, it's ordered correctly. And it's right. And I only have very limited use of the Cardano blockchain, but that's how it should be. You enable a whole financial ecosystem that has all the properties of a blockchain, but you only use the blockchain for an entry and exit point. Beautiful words by the husk. All right, guys. Well, that's all I have for you today. Let's keep chopping wood. We're going to keep on stacking, staking, and chilling. And I'll talk to you guys soon with the VJ and the Cardano updates. Have an amazing day. Goodbye.